If when you turn on your computer you get a message like this, or maybe you get a message like this, or even like this, or even like this, then you're going to need to change your CMOS battery. The CMOS battery is a small coin-shaped battery about the size of a quarter or maybe a 20 cent coin. You can see it here with a AA battery for comparison. The good news is it's not too difficult to change, so let's get to it. In this style of PC, which is a HP ProDesk, taking out the CMOS battery is relatively easy. All we have to do is take off the cover. And then if we look inside, we can see we have the motherboard here. But in this particular machine, the CMOS battery is just underneath this section here. So first we have to just disconnect a couple of these wires. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Our power and data for the DVD drive. Let me just push this. Out like this and then next we just want to disconnect the data cable for the dvd drive and the power cable as these can be a little bit more fiddly to remove there we go and next we just lift this part up side we should find it. Yep, that we want to get out there too and that bit is just here, a little bit dusty. So this is where the CMOS battery is. Okay, this is our CMOS battery. So to take it out, all we have to do is just push on this little tab and the battery will pop out. Take out our battery. And here you can see the battery itself, KTS in this particular case lithium battery and it's three volts and it's a CR2032. Next we just need to put our new battery in. So we just put it in like this at an angle and then we can just push it down and it should click into place. Then once you've got the pieces put back in and the cover put on, we can go into our BIOS then and adjust the date and time. The last PC we looked at was a HP Pro Desk and this one here is a HP Elite Desk which is even easier to reach the CMOS battery. And all we have to do is lift off the cover. And here we have our CMOS battery right here. So this one is really easy to get to. This last example is a typical budget PC case. And usually they have a side panel like this. And then you just have to usually sometimes uh, open up a couple of simple catches like that. Or they may also have a couple of screws located here and here. So I'm just going to take out one here. I already took out the other one. And uh, once these are out, then we can take out the battery. So then we just usually slide back, lift up. And inside this case, you can see the battery is located right here. And next, we need to go into the BIOS. In this case, we're going to press Escape to get into the BIOS. Some machines are different. You may have to press F2 or you may have to press Delete to get into the BIOS. But once we're in the BIOS, we can then just go to the BIOS setup. And from there, we can change the date and time. So in this case, we want to change the date to the 20th of November. So all we have to do is just do November there, then just up, up, up. And that's that date changed. And then here, just going to go to change that to 15, 20. There we go. So once you've made your change to your date and time, you need to uh, make sure to save. So just click save. Select yes. You can go back. And then save changes and exit. Here we have a different style of bias or a different machine. And just to show you the process for this one, just delete to enter the bias. And you can see here, it's a kind of a different layout, but it's the same thing. So we just want to change the time and date. So this is saying the first of the first 2009. So in our case, it is the 20th. 
of November. Twenty twenty two. Uh, let's just use the sliders and again the date the time about 1525 and there we go now the date and time are set correctly we can exit save changes and reset. Okay, so here we have an Intel board. It's an older board, but we'll just go into the BIOS, show you the difference. Okay, so on this board, we can go down here and we can change the date and time. So to do this, we have to press the, either type in the, the month, so 11, Press enter and then press the date, 20, and then the year. And then once we're finished that, we go down to the next one using the arrow keys. And we put in 15, press enter, and then 30, and that's it. So all we have to do then is press escape. Go up to our main menu, press exit, exit saving changes, and we're done. Okay, folks, I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe and boot that like button. See you next time.